Thank you, Toastmaster, fellow members, and guests. This is KPSB Radio, beginning its broadcast day. My name is Kevin Paul Shaw Broden. Four names of professional creativity. Professional creativity as an artist, as a writer, and perhaps as something more. I have always imagined my initials as the call letters for a radio station. Not any top 40 pop station or 24 hours of talking heads. No, my station exists in the golden age of radio of the 1930s to the 50s when tales of adventure ruled the airwaves, when the shadow knew what was in the hearts of men, and the William Tell overture announced the arrival of the Green Hornet. For me, this radio station came into existence at a very young age. When my father was on call at the hospital, my mother would bring me into their bed and leave the radio playing all night and I would listen to old-time radio programs and fell in love with masked men and adventure stories told with only voice and sound. These mystery men would follow me throughout my life, first as super friends on Saturday mornings. When I struggled to read, their four-color exploits saved me in the form of comic books. One comic, The All-Star Squadron, focused on those early heroes spurring on my love for history of the time. These masked men and women traveled with this loner throughout high school. Aquaman taught me how to breathe underwater to survive a bully in swim class. In cloaks and cowls, they taught me to draw. In a college cartooning class, the teacher thought it important to understand story, so played audio recordings as we drew and sketched. Not audiobooks, or plays, but tales of yesteryear, the self-same old-time radio programs of my youth. I visited the hero's home away from fictitious home. Comic conventions, specifically the San Diego Comic Con, the place where comics, video games, television shows, and the summer blockbuster are announced, where amateur artists and writers seek after the golden ticket, the pro badge. My pro badge with my four names printed upon it, came when I was hired as an assistant to a comic book artist. While learning to draw my heroes, I discovered what I was really becoming, a storyteller. While I pursued this career in both comics and animation, those late-night voices kept whispering for me to tell their stories. From those voices came my first novel, Revenge of the Masked Ghost about the family of one of those mystery men. The novel wasn't a blockbuster, but it got me noticed. Noticed among a subgenre called New Pulp, in which authors and artists create stories in homage to pulp characters from which my radio heroes were birthed. My masked ghost now sits on a shelf with stories of the original pulp characters like The Shadow, The Green Hornet, and Domino Lady and besides new pulp characters like Brother Bones and the Bay Phantom. I have written other stories, a second novel, animation, and comic books. Flying Glory is a comic that exists in my own 1940s. My wife Shannon and I redeveloped it as a modern-day webcomic called Flying Glory and the Hounds of Glory. As a book illustrator for one of the new pulp publishers, I am brought ever closer to those mystery men of long ago. I've drawn art for the Persona and the Bay Phantom, both new characters, but they exist in a 1930s similar to the original pulps and radio programs. Currently, I am drawing an FBI agent from the actual pulps, Dan Fowler, G-Man. The orbit of my four names of professional creativity continue to circle back on those mystery men of the late night radio of my childhood. Perhaps they are about to bring me even closer in a way I never expected. Very shy, I had never thought of being an actor. It was never part of my dreams. A while ago, I considered asking one of my actor friends if I could sit in on a recording session or if I should take a voice acting class. 
to understand what actors need from writers. It was, as a guest of Toastmasters for Writers, while I stood before all of you in table topics, that I made the decision to not only take voiceover classes, but to become a voice actor. Perhaps one day I will give voice to those heroes of long ago. Perhaps I will bring my radio station to life. This ends the broadcast day for KPSB Radio, Fullerton and Glendale.